Hi there, welcome to the Virtual Electrician, TVE, your one-stop shop for do-it-yourself electrical help. Now that we have gone over installing a single pole breaker, let's talk about installing a two-pole, 240 volt breaker. After you have correctly sized your circuit, you got the wire installed in the panel, you can now see the finish line. Bumper to bumper as they approach the finish line. The Queen's the winner, Francesco second. You are almost there. Just one simple step further, attaching the breaker. So here we go. You are either going to have two wire or three wire for your two pole breaker. If it's three wire, it's pretty easy. Just follow my same instructions on installing a single pole breaker. Turn the main off. Don't touch the main lugs coming in. Use 90 degree turns. Connect the ground first, then the neutral, and now your hots. Unlike the single pole breaker, you will have two hots to put on the breaker instead of one. This time, you will have a black wire and a red wire. And just like the single pole breaker, I like to measure the length of the wire while I make my 90 degree turns and then cut the wire. Then I like to take the breaker off the panel and connect my wires. Now that we have taken the breaker off, you can see what's underneath it. You see how you have phase A and phase B right on top of each other? The phases interweave like that so you can install these 240 volts or two pole breakers. We can also get a good look at these breakers and see how they connect to the panel. There are lots of different kinds of panels and some connect differently, but they all kind of latch onto the bus bar somehow. This one has a little notch on the back that hold onto the panel while this end just clamps down on the bus bar. Now you've got your wires on. Let's go ahead and snap it back in place. There you go, you did it. Super easy stuff. Now it's time to turn back on the main and test the circuit. If you have a 240 volt circuit that doesn't require a neutral like a motor, then you will only have a bare wire, a white wire, and a black wire. The ground will go on the ground bar, the black will be one of the legs, and then you will use the white wire as the other leg. If you do that, you need to identify that wire or phase that wire. This lets everybody know that this is in fact not a neutral wire, but a hot wire. As you know from my phasing video, the way to phase this wire is by taping it up with electrical tape or using a black marker and coloring at least six inches of wire. There you go. Visit us at thevirtualelectrician.com if you want to schedule a virtual electrician to help you with your electrical project or subscribe to this channel for more videos.